and fam welcome back getting ready with me today we're gonna do a little fall look and i'm gonna give you a life update so okay i don't know what the issue is at hand however my face has been ungodly oily here recently so i I don't know, maybe it's just a shift in me, I don't know. So I did just spray some of this Matte Fix Plus on my face, I guess as a primer situation, I don't know. I'm just trying all the things at this point. However, it did leave some white spots on my face, probably because I had it too close, but that is neither here nor there. If you're someone who is like bothered, because some people are just weird, I don't understand it by my door being cracked, I am home alone praise Jesus. I love my family, but I also love my me time. So I just got to hear what my dogs are doing because, you know, occasionally you'll get these random ass comments. I'm so triggered by a drawer being open or by a door being open. Then close out the video, fam. Well, if you're triggered by that, you're definitely not part of the am fam, but close out, exit, Find a content, find a video where the person is filming and everything is perfectly to your liking and in place. She ain't gonna get that here though. But anywho, life update fam. Life, 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 life. So give you a little bit of a prep update first. Um, I am deep into off season, I guess at this point, because the last time I competed was in May and it is the end of September now, which is wild. Y'all, I'm feeling good, feeling good, feeling great. This is the most food I have ever been able to eat in my life and I am maintaining a really, really solid body composition. I will post photos of what I'm currently looking like. So I am 5'8 and I am 100 and 48 pounds and I'm eating 2,600 calories. I ain't doing no cardio. I'm just lifting and eating and all is well there. We pulled prep because y'all know if you've seen the previous videos, life be life and, and you know, have to just get some things sorted out. So as far as when I will be prepping again, I think we haven't like set a concrete plan just yet but I think I'm probably going to start prepping at the beginning of the year, which in my mind, I will start my prep December 1, start cleaning things up. Yes, I can do it during the holidays just simply because I'm focused. You know what I mean? Like this shit's not for everybody. I have a goal. I will be getting my pro card next year. It is happening. I think we have a show that we're targeting. Again, not 100% sure. Things are just not set in stone right now, but all is well on that front. I think the hardest thing for me has been just like my motivation to go train has been a little bit down. I'm not going to lie this summer, just simply because like my mind is just on so many other things, but it's just, I got to train, I got to grow my business, but I also got to grow my glutes, you know? So that's, that's where we're at. My feedback was everything's great. Just be leaner. So we can always get leaner. Um, we're just being nitpicky now. So growing my hamstrings, I'm growing my upper glute a little bit more. Um, upper body is fine. Been doing a little bit more bicep work to match my shoulders because we really, really grew my shoulders big time. So just making sure everything is nice and balanced. So that is all good with me as far as my own personal prep bodybuilding journey. I'm using this REM concealer in the shade tan 8P. I wanted the shade 9W. However, they didn't have it, but also I had to keep in mind that since it is fall now, I typically don't like my shades to be too, too warm. So I will start transitioning from using a bunch of bronzer to more sort of contour shades. Um, just things not as warm because I'm not in the sun that much, but this is really looking nice so far. So good. And I'm using a brush over a sponge because I want to get as much coverage as I can out of it. And it's definitely, it's giving darling. It is giving coverage. Of course, I'll have a full on video. I have a mega concealer video coming up. I just need to wear test this a few more times before that comes out. But I am going to go ahead and set it because my under eyes always get creasy if I do not set it immediately. Work, oh my gosh. So work 
has been wild, 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 wild. So the month of August, I was gone traveling every single weekend. And it's just, it's so surreal to me because since I was in beauty school, that was my dream. I didn't know what niche as far as like in the beauty industry that I would be working in, but I always knew I wanted to travel and I wanted to do makeup. And fast forward, here we are. I can't believe it. Every time I'm on a plane, I always do a bunch of journaling because it's just, I don't know, something about being up in the air. Maybe because in my mind, I feel like, oh, this is the closest I'll ever be to God, like on earth, like from a geological standpoint. And I just always have the most gratitude because I'm just kind of like, while, you know, things are exactly how I wish they were just in regards to just like, you know, finances and stuff for me, because I took a major, major, major price cut when I closed my salon, which was fine. I knew that like, I'm okay, but you know, just it's things were just very different. And so it's like, although things aren't where I want them to be in that aspect, I'm just very grateful and blessed that, you know, people are booking me and that I'm able to literally do the job of my dreams. That is just like, so fulfilling. It's so wonderful. And that's the thing too, that I also had to remind myself, like it took me 10 years to build my salon clientele. So, you know, it's going to take some time for me with this transition to get myself back to where I was with the salon, but that's okay because I've been so at peace for the first time in my life. And I know it's just simply because I've slowed down significantly because I need to slow down my life because um, hustling, doing all the things. And it's just kind of like, I am burning myself out working so much harder, but yet the results aren't significantly different. Work smarter, not harder, you know? So that has been incredible. Now, as we transition to the fall, things are busy, but not as busy as they were like for june july and august so now my travel is cut down so instead of being going gone every single weekend i am twice a month but also now a lot of the shows that i'm doing the rest of the year they are local to me so that is very nice as well I'm not sure i love how brightening the concealer is but i just feel like i don't know it's settling on me which is so unfortunate because i love the way it looks no hold on let me try something real quick let me just see something. Yes, I already said it. And yes, I'm putting more on. I'm just, I'm just trying something, okay? <laughs> huh. I don't know. Now I'm feeling like I'm looking a little dry and crusty dusty under there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But now I need to do the same thing to the other side because now I'm looking... I'm looking kind of crazy. Like, I wish I could be the girls that didn't have to set their concealer in place. But that ain't me. That's not who I am. Hi, Rocket. Um, also, in other business news, I have done some rebranding. That is something that I have always just kind of struggled with as far as, like, trying to figure out, like, my place in the beauty industry and yada, yada, yada. And so... When I came up with Show Day Beauty last year, I loved that it took me out of the equation, out of the equation, meaning that I am not the face. I did not want to be the face of the business. But as time has gone on, <laughs> and even when I, you know, I was oh, I was cool with the name Show Day Beauty, but there was still a part of me that was kind of like, mm, 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 I'm not so sure. And while, yes, the majority of my clientele are bodybuilders, when I do have freelance work outside of that, it's always special occasion, photo shoots, or bridal. So with Show Day Beauty, it kind of closes me off to just competitors, which, like I said, yeah, that's my main demographic. However, I still do other things. And then, you know, also just getting the feedback from other competitors, you know, girls are basically saying, yeah, this is not... Jesus Christ, I've really, I have really, really done a number over here. I don't know what is going on. I can't chop it up to the concealer because I did put <laughs> more cream on top of powder, which that's just a makeup rule of thumb, no. But a lot of girls were just telling me, hey, you know, obviously I'm looking because I like your work, but the gag is I just like you. 
And so after hearing that, and then of course getting feedback from my friend Jordan, she was just kind of like, it's time for you to lean into who you are. And that is something that I have struggled with for a long time. I don't think I've ever talked about this before, but I am definitely afraid of myself. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just it's something I haven't unpacked and maybe just with us chatting today, maybe I'll figure it out. But I don't know if it's because I feel like my dreams and goals are just so big and grandiose that it just kind of freaks me out a little bit. And then I don't know if this also was playing into my worthiness journey as well. If you haven't seen the most recent episode of Make Up Your Mind, highly recommend. You can watch via YouTube or you can listen to the pod because Make Up Your Mind is also a podcast as well. Everything will be linked down below, but definitely afraid of myself. And I think that's why I didn't want to be the face of it. But because I am so active in the bodybuilding community and the beauty community, it's, it's kind of hard for me to not be the face of my brand. So once I made the switch to Amber P Beauty, that is the most clarity I have ever gotten in regards to my business and career. It, it, everything just makes sense. And then I've also got other things that I'm working on coming down the pipeline. So that has been really, really just, it feels good to be at peace. It feels good to be content. It feels good to know that while things might not be where I want them to be right now, I understand that this is where I'm supposed to be and this is a journey and I will get to where I'm supposed to be. But now, like I just have to remind myself, hey girl, you have been disobedient to what God told you to do for the past three years. So now just because you're all of a sudden obedient, shout out to the homie Lauren, my bestest friend in the whole wide world. She was the one that pointed this out to me, but you can't think that, all right, Lord, now I'm doing what you said that all of a sudden he's going to be like, okay, here we go. No, that's not how it goes. You know, there's still more work to be done. God's just kind of like, yeah, congratulations. You're finally doing what I told you to do. However, comma, <laughs> however, you just got here so you there's still things that you need to do so everything on that end is going well and i will pop a little bit of footage from some of girls that i've done the past two weekends right here just simply because i'm just loving the way everyone's looks have been coming out and i have been growing my skills and educating myself that's one thing that I will never stop doing. I do not know it all. I want to learn as much as I can. I want to be the best makeup artist that I possibly can be. So I'm always open to feedback. I'm always open to learning and testing new products, trying new techniques because yeah, I've been doing this for a while, but I don't know it all. And I think what people fail to realize is once you have arrived to a place where you feel like you know it all, that is when you know nothing at all, okay? So, that is where I'm at there. And then also other news, I picked up a part-time job just, you know, for extra income. And that has been very, very fascinating just simply because I have never worked retail before. So I work at a cosmetics counter and I just kind of rotate between Clinique, Lanco, and Estee Lauder. And so that's very cool because the position that I have is a flex position, basically meaning that I don't have set hours. So I'm not full time. I'm not part time. I just pick up whatever hours. And also, you know, I was very upfront. Hey, I have a business. I'm a freelance makeup artist. So if you want me to come in on some Saturdays, I won't be here because that comes first. And they were totally fine with it. So that's been really cool. And so just, you know, I'm still in the whole makeup cosmetics thing, but learning all the skincare that Clinique and Estee Lauder and Lancome have to offer. That's been very cool. Like I've been, you know, doing a lot of foundation shade matching. That's awesome. And then of course, you know, learning new techniques, learning about new products. You know, do I like the salesy part of it? No, I don't because I'm not, I'm not a salesy person. And I just have the mindset of if a product is good, you don't have to do a hard sale you know what I mean I just always want to know what the customer is looking for and then if you can just provide a product for them that is going to work for them versus what's popping and hot right now then they are going to come back to you so that has been very nice and it's very different because you know some people would have the mindset of oh my gosh well you you had your own business you closed your salon and now you had to go back to work yeah I did but the beauty of it is 
first of all, I'm secure. I'm secure and I'm grown. I don't have a sense of pride. I'm not an arrogant human being using powder foundation, y'all, because like I said, my liquids, my top three liquid foundations that I've been rotating between the Lancome Care and Glow, NARS Light Reflecting, and the Makeup Forever HD Skin. Those have been my three. However, my skin just is not, I don't know. I don't know, but I have no pride. I have no ego. There's like, you know, at first I was just kind of like, okay, well, you know what? Sometimes Amber, you gotta take a couple steps back. So yeah, I'm taking two steps back, but it's gonna get me five steps forward. You feel me? So in that regard, it's okay. And it's nice to not be the boss. Because in the salon, I am everything. I'm the stylist, I'm the makeup artist, I'm the janitor, I'm the accountant, I'm, I'm the person that's doing all the booking. Like I am legit everything. I have to do the inventory. So it's nice to just clock in, clock out. There's nothing riding on it. It just is what it is. So that has been so fantastic. And if you were in a situation to where, you know, maybe you were feeling like a failure because something didn't work out because I did have those moments where I was just kind of like, well, Jesus, Amber, you failed. And no, I didn't fail because had I kept going, my body would have clocked out. When I had my assessment, I had a second assessment. So my first assessment at my chiropractor was in May. And that's when I found out all the stuff that I had going on. And then I had another assessment at the beginning of August. And the chiropractor, she was just, she said, wow, I have never seen anyone make this much progress, especially considering, you know, you have two curves in your spine. I have scoliosis and I have arthritis in the left side of my neck. She's like, I don't know what you did, but you're kind of like the miracle case, whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it. And I said, um, I quit my job. <laughs> So that furthermore, you know, made me feel like I did the right thing for health purposes because I'm not going to lie. I definitely had those moments. Oh, my God. What have I done? This was a bad idea. I should not have done that. But the thing is, even if I wasn't mentally tapped out, I was physically tapped out. So it was it would have progressed and gotten worse for me had I not, you know, closed it when I did. And then, like I said, it was just past time. It was past time. So that was fantastic. And then, oh, shoot, I forgot to put my contour on. So that has definitely been different for me. But like I said, because it is a flex position, I just kind of come and go as I please and I can still do my thing for my business. I can still create my content and all is well there. Then in other big, big news, family news, my family's bakery is finally open. Oh my goodness. So my mother-in-law has been working on this tirelessly since April and they open on September 17th and it is just incredible. So the bakery is in Charlotte. So if you're in the Charlotte area, Valentine area, right across the street from the Elevation Church, that is where the bakery is located. And it is called Brazilian Eats and Treats and it is killing it. The first two days that opening, so they opened on the 17th and the 18th, they sold 1,000 loaves of bread. Incredible, that is incredible. Um, we were not sure, like I knew it was going to be a success. That wasn't going to be a, a, a issue, but just the influx and how many people showed up, it was wild, so wild. But I am so proud of my family, my mother-in-law, my aunt, my, my husband's aunt, his godmom. Like it, it's literally, a, it's a family thing. So my mom works there. And of course, Murillo, he goes to, he works as well when he's not, running his business he has his own business as well which has been his business is, his business has been popping since 2020 low, low is unstoppable right now i'm so proud of him but it was just so cool i had went up there to get some content and just to see your loved ones living and doing the things that they love like that is Murillo's gift that is his passion he loves to cook if y'all have been following me y'all know this he loves to cook so He's just over the moon. I'm so happy for them. So we have that going on as well. Now, y'all know I, I like to talk about mindset. So this won't be like a, a straight up make up your mind. But my mindset 
I have got, I'm so much more at peace. Like I definitely have my moments, you know what I mean? I had a moment yesterday, something that I have been battling since the summertime. I have noticed now right before, whoa. Whoa, okay, first time testing out this, Sephora. I'm like heavy into Sephora collection right now, this contour kit in medium deep. Okay, okay. Um was not expecting that much. Holy smokes. Um, something that I have noticed is that when my period comes on, I just, I'm, a, I'm an emotional wreck and um, I'm not an emotional human. <laughs> I'm not emotional. I'm not sensitive, but I notice like I can now, I can just kind of clock it whenever I'm just not feeling like myself or just kind of, uh, I, I don't know, like, I guess for me, this is the closest feeling that I can describe to depression because yesterday I was actually supposed to film this video. And then I, well, I sat down to film and all three of my batteries were dead. So that was annoying. And I was like, okay, no worries. I can just do it later. But then that's when I just started not feeling well. And I just felt like a blob. Like I had no motivation. I didn't want to do anything. I was just laying around like, if that is like the closest feeling to depression, then oh my gosh, my heart goes out to people that deal with that on a regular basis because that is not an easy thing to deal with. And I hate how anxiety and depression are just used so loosely. It's just kind of like, y'all stop it. You have no idea what you're talking about, some of you. So that's been a little bit of a struggle. Like yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, was a, a hard day. It was the hardest day I would had in a while but I know it was due to just my period because I feel way better today. So just like those first, the first two days of my period, man, it's just kind of rocky. So if you're someone who experiences this, like I said, this is new to me. I feel like I'm going through like part two of adult puberty or something weird like that. But if you are someone who has experienced that, please let me know what you do to kind of navigate that because that has been tricky but outside of that you know just making sure that I am taking my time making sure that I'm not putting too much on my plate making sure that I'm not on social media too much because all of those things do contribute to my mental health they contribute to how I am feeling you know what I mean because for me getting on social media and being on too much what happens with me is it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough and y'all know I've already talked about hustle culture and burnout yada 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 so you know gotta be mindful of all the things just got to and I have been loving 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 the hourglass palette here recently which let's talk about new makeup releases how long is this video okay I don't want this video to be any longer than 30 minutes <laughs> we're pushing it let's talk about new makeup releases does anyone else find it odd that we have holiday collections at the same time as Christmas collections. I understand, okay? Like, yes, this happens, but this is just too much, it's too soon. Y'all couldn't have waited. I feel like October is an appropriate time to start pulling out the holiday collections, and here's why. Like, anyone that's doing something for fall now, it's kind of getting overlooked just simply because all of our eyes are on the holiday collections and we all know that consumerism is a thing and yada 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 but it's just kind of like can we please just slow it down for a moment and really look at the big picture at what we're doing it's just too much like me as a makeup artist i think it's too much me as a youtuber i think it's too much and me as a consumer i think it's too much i was looking on trend mood because y'all know trend mood is the shade room for beauty and mac raisin a og a staple i love i had to go buy this yesterday because i was missing it and i don't like to pull things from my kit to use on myself because what will happen is if i'm using it on myself and then i forget to put it in my kit i get to work i don't have it i'm pissed but like Too Faced has been giving us the same collection since the year of the freaking rat like can we get something different how Too Faced is even still with us right now is truly a miracle from up above because like they have done it all like well, I mean they all their stuff just is is the same to me like there's nothing that's exciting it's just like what what's going on here however there are a couple of things that I do have my eyes on y'all know I'm a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan so 
the pillow top palette yes she's 75 dollars i think that is ridiculously expensive if you're thinking about getting it and you're on the fence wait for me because i'm gonna buy it and i'll tell you what's up and she also now has this is looking so muddy oh i hate the way my makeup is looking but it's because i went this contour i didn't think this was going to be dark enough this is dark enough for me i should have used this one this is too dark for me now we know first impression all right we a little muddy today fam but let me see i need i need to kind of i gotta soften that up gotta soften that up this video is gonna be long sorry <laughs> but there are some things i have my eyes on that being the pillow talk collection and the palette the face palette and then she also is coming out with single shadows y'all know i love 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 her cream shadows that did not help me not one bit whatever it's fine it is what it is um and i'm only going to purchase one because i want to see what all what the fuss is about with it i love her cream shadows but i am not someone that likes to buy single shadows just simply because i like palettes that's just how I roll. Even like I'll buy a palette and still depot it if I need to use it for my kit. But I don't know. Single shadows, not really into. But because it is Charlotte Tilbury, I am going to try it. I was going to try the Patrick Ta cream foundation. But there's the way my skin has been acting, y'all. And the fact that it is a screen, a screen, uh, um, cream foundation i don't think it's even worth me bothering with like i'm just to the point now where if it doesn't you know excite me i don't want to try it i was excited but then i was watching morgan turner makeup i love her she's so freaking cute and i was watching her video on it and i was kind of like oh never mind i don't think so and i saw it in store at sephora yesterday and it's really weird because the cream foundation part of it like the shades seem a little bit weird and they don't quite match with the powder so i was like this is odd i don't understand it so i'm skipping out on that one i do want to try the um what was it what was it hold on because i have all the things that i want to try in my phone okay so the new hourglass palette i think i'm going to get i think tiger is the one that's going to be the best suitable for my skin so i'm going to try that and again i'm trying it because i want to try it not because I think Hourglass is the best brand since sliced bread, because sometimes if you mention brand that some might find to be a little polarizing, people start going crazy in the comments. And I'm like, ah, is makeup, it ain't that deep. Have a cocktail, have a Delta 8, just chill the hell out. Sigh, we good over here. So I'm going to be trying that. And then Huda Beauty is launching an eyeshadow palette. I haven't bought an eyeshadow palette in a really long time. So I'm very, very excited to try that. I'm using the Sephora Collection um, Brow Pencil. This is the waterproof one. Testing it out before I slide it into my kit. And I do want to try the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. A lot of people were upset with her because there's only two shades but again charlotte tilbury is a makeup artist right i'm a makeup artist and i didn't think about it this way because i am a makeup artist but in my kit i only carry translucent and yellow powders so for me i was like what's the big deal i don't understand but i have to keep the mind of I am a makeup artist, therefore I have to separate the two, like the makeup artist and the consumer, because to me and how I work, that makes perfect sense. Those are the only two colors I use in my kit. But I guess for those who aren't makeup artists, because we're so used to seeing a million shades of the same thing, so just only having two is very daunting. I mean, I guess if anything, maybe she could have had a third, but to me, I, I wasn't bothered by the two because that's how I work anyway. But I do want to try that. And then there was something else. Oh, the Milani Liquid Contours. I want to try that. However, it's just not available in store yet, so 
it's been out online for I want to say about two to three weeks but I really want to see the shades in person because I'm going to obviously compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury one and then this is the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awakening Concealer. I want to compare it to those two but I just got to wait to get my hands on it. So I think between all of those products I think that's going to be it for me for the rest of the year. Of course, you know, something else. Someone always drops something like right after Christmas, but I already got my budget. I'm already, you know, got my cool little credit card ready to make it do what it do. But I'm just trying to make sure that I am mindful and not going crazy this holiday season. And I want y'all to do the same thing. It's like, yes, treat yourself. Only buy things that you are truly interested in. Like, don't waste your money on buying things just because you feel like so-and-so has it or it's popping or it's the next best thing. Like, no, like, if even if I'm using something and it doesn't speak to you and I'm like, yes, this is fantastic, but it's not speaking to you, sis, don't buy it. That's it. It's that simple. You do not have to buy it. So this video is already way too long. I'm going to do my eyeshadow really quickly. I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Or, you know what, I'll just do it at that and make it fast because I know someone's going to want to see the eye look. completed look whipped out Natasha Denona Metropolis do you remember her when's the last time you've used her if you haven't and you haven't used her in a long time congratulations this is your sign pull it out and use palettes that you already got and shout out to Malithia for sending me this beautiful Lisa Eldridge lipstick that I have on my lips the formula the fall vibes like Come on, get into it. All of the things. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Down below, you will find everything that I use. You know the deal. Keep it simple. Happy fall. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.